Well, we're at the Yacht Gear Workbench for the rigs and techniques section of the show. Yes. You know, surf is one of your specialties, and so yeah, we're going to get a lot of info on that <laughs> and some jetty stuff too. So yeah. let's. Uh, I like I like surf fishing. Well, the main thing is is the length of the rods, Dave. Right, it is, and yeah. you you use longer rods and and tall surf spikes like these out here in the front. Um, and that's mainly to keep your line up above the waves, yeah. you know, and, and allows you to make long casts. And uh, they also telegraph a bite a lot better because you have these nice little whippy tips and a strong backbone. So you can make these incredibly long casts. I can cast these here 100 yards, you know, with this wow. 20, I got 20 pound or 15 pound Prospect Chrome braid, braid you know, high vis keep the pelicans out of it. The pelicans can see that better. You know, yeah. the seabirds and whatnot, yeah. they can see that orange a little better. And uh, when I make those long casts, I like to use like a four ounce weight. And that has nothing to do with the surf conditions to me. You know, if it's really rough, that's obviously gonna help. If, you know, I might have to go up to a five ounce, but I rarely mm -hmm. do that. If it's usually, if I have to use a five ounce, it's probably too busted up for me to be fishing in it. But I use the four ounce because I can make a really long cast and that anchors my rig, you know, so that when a fish comes and eats that circle hook on these dropper rigs on here, then he gets hung up. He, 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 the weight actually, he swims away from the weight and gets hooked. Because these dig into the sand Correct. and so they're covered like that. Right, and then they break away. You know, these, these yeah. will, so, these will fold, well, so the other can, way. They can fold. Yeah, they fold yeah. back when, when you pull them out of the if, sand. Or if you get in a rock situation, you don't lose your weight. Correct, and 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 those are, you know, I, I use those no matter what the surf condition is, just mainly for that long casting ability and the way that they 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 provide an anchor for that, you know, a double, you know, a double dropper loop rig you know, with a little circle hook that's, on it. That's like interesting that you say that, Dave, because most people say, oh well, it's calm. I'm going to use a lightweight. Right. It's rough, so I'm going to use a heavier weight. You're just like, right. it doesn't matter. I want the anchor to hold no matter what the condition. Right. And if it's too rough for that anchor to hold, then it's probably too rough. That to fish. way, I can use three, four, five rods, and I don't have to uh, be holding the rod when the fish eats it. These all have circle hooks on them, mm -hmm. so the fish comes the the redfish or the little shark or uh, even a tarpon uh, comes up into the uh, little Spanish mackerel, comes up into the surf, eats that, and then he swims against that weight and that circle hook draws right to the corner and I, he's on. And hooks him perfect. It hooks him perfect. And you'll see the rod tip just going woo, 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 woo. You know he's on. Yep. You know, and you, all you gotta do is go over there and pick it up and, and, and reel him in. So, you know, you, you wanna use like a little, uh, a, an artificial to hold your shrimp on there. Mm -hmm. I like to use shrimp. Everything eats shrimp uh, or clam. You know, you can cut up a clam and use it. I like to use crab knuckles too. I'll cut up a, a, a big piece of crab and, and put a little piece of crab knuckle on each one of those hooks or yeah. maybe put a shrimp on one and a crab on the other and figure out what they're eating. And you're using these gulp style baits, fish yeah. bite style exactly. baits to hold that other natural bait in place. Correct, and plus this dispenses a lot of surf, plus it's really colorful. You know, if you got muddy water in the surf yeah. instead of, you know, pr pristine clean surf, and that those bright colors really will attract a fish. If I'm using it in crystal clear, I like to not even use any kind of uh, uh, little weight, I mean, a uh, little uh, floats or anything. Float or even anything. Just, just, just the hook. Just the hook, you know, or a white. You okay. know, I'll use a white okay. in really clear water, but otherwise I'm, I'm not. Now, what if a guy wants to, he says, I'm not really into the whole surf fishing thing, but I want right. to go chase those red fish or those blue fish or something that's just on the outside of the break. Right. You can get, you can get away with using a, a, like a seven foot rod like this one here, mm -hmm. the spin fisher seven combo. It's got a sealed uh, drag and body so you can get it really wet. Uh, it's got these nice rubberized handles on it. So, you know, those are really nice as well. You got a good grip on it. Yeah. Um, what you want to do is it's tacky. Yeah, what you want to yeah. do either in the uh, on the jetty or in the surf because there's a lot of fish in the surf that you can cast plugs and stuff at. What you do want to do is you want to cast perpendicular to the beach. You know, okay. I, mean, I mean parallel to the beach. <laughs> Parallel. Well, to the that beach. way you're coming in contact with more fish. Exactly. Not, it's not an X. Correct. It's, it's a Y, and you Correct. get more 
right. more opportunity. And, you know, wear, if you're on the jetties, you know, you want to wear a nice pair of boots mm -hmm. because those big boulders and of rocks, you know, with all the barnacles and the slime and all that stuff on them, I've seen some pretty nasty wounds yeah. that guys get from falling on those things. And that's where a backpack helps you freeze up one of your hands. You know, if you can put all your tackle in a backpack oh, yeah. instead of, uh, you know, carrying a, a bunch of tackle boxes. You should always keep one, one hand for your rod and one free hand in case you fall when and you're you on a jetty. you don't necessarily have to have like uh, live shrimp, but you can put fresh shrimp in a Ziploc and put the Ziploc in the backpack. Correct. You, yeah. And you know, sometimes I'll carry a bucket, but usually I don't, you know, usually I don't. And you can use all these jigs, you know, a bucktail jig, a swim jig, you know, something like this that, you know, catches everything in the surf, redfish, uh, tarpons, Everything will eat those things. Everything loves a jig. Well, great job. Wish we had some more time. Oh, but I could go on and on. We could go on forever. Well, yeah. where are we going next, Bree? Let's check it out.